Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects, Lady M&I. Hello. I'm going to be going through this £250 bag of 50 pences. Hopefully we'll find some rare and valuable ones, the ones that you can find in your change and the ones that are worth more than the 50p that's stamped on them. Although from Lady M's point of view, she is after something for the book. She's having to catch up, we're in competition with each other. We've been doing it all year and we're nearly at the end of it. Um, she's got a Kew Gardens, but she needs quite a few. Oh, sorry, quite low down the camera uh, in this episode. She needs quite a few Olympics. As you can see, there are lots and lots of white little insert cards there that need filling up. She needs a puddle duck, and uh, also there will be. We are going to put in the salmon if we find it, the Atlantic salmon, the definitive. 20 uh 2023 coin so here we are voltex lady m do you want to take care of the administration oh yeah that, that's the money box there if we find any benjamin bunnies for our second derby competition which i don't think is going to be worth any points this year but uh, our secondary competition she's shaking her head of uh of any benjamin bunnies we find go into the corresponding money box and I've got a feeling that Lady M is winning. So like, but like I say, I don't think it's going to be worth any additional points this year. But we'll we'll see. We'll have to see a little bit, uh, a little bit closer to the time. I think. Mm. All right. Well, at the Voltex bag. We had some success in the last episode. I got to go back and watch it if you haven't seen it. But I was pleased with it. I didn't find anything for the book, but I got a lovely blocker, which so at this stage of the proceedings, I mean, it's always useful. It's always good to to block the other person, but at this stage, this th at this point in the year, uh, then uh, it's good. It's good to get, isn't it, Lydia? Uh, yeah. What do you think? Yeah. You do. Oh, looking a good blocker. Right. Well, I was pleased with it. So yeah, if you don't know what that was, do go go and see the uh, the last episode. The other in bit of interesting thing is the there's there's some. There's some dirty coins in here, and we had them in the last episode as well. So it does play into my theory that if you get bags at the same time, with the same date on, although there's no date on Voltex bags, but if you get them at the same time, the chances are you can get the theme, you'll get similar coins in both. So I think that serves you well, Lady M. That's a positive. Let's hold Paddington at the Palace, where with his little flag. But there's a chance that you will get one of the Olympics that you need. I can see in a bag coming up, there's a 2018 with 50 pence written on the same side as the date, Lady M. So that might be a, a nice tittle mouse for you. I know you're a tittle mouse fan. Mm -hmm. Could be another Paddington, of course. Mm -hmm. Let's state that one. These have definitely been involved in some water, I think. Yeah. Been in a, in a wishing well or a fountain, they've definitely tarnished a little uh, a little bit. There's another one, look. Or maybe it's just wherever these came from, they're just mucky buggers. Hmm. That can uh, that can happen, can't it? You get muckies. <laughs> <laughs> but what happened to stack these to one side? These are going back in the bank where we need to rebag them. One thing I have done, lady, was when I took that. Oh, I've got a Team GB. I meant to mention. That Team GB there, mm. I took one of the secondary ones to make it a full pile. Yeah, did, did you do that? Yeah. yeah. Did you copy off me or did you have the same idea? I just copied off you. Nice. There's a shiny, a really shiny 70th Platinum Jubilee there. It's got a few scratches on it, but it's really shiny. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that. that. I'm going to keep that. I'm putting that in the plum fine section. And one extreme to another. Look at the state of that. That's just 2020, just a... A couple of years younger and uh, yeah look at the state of that that is nasty turn the Peter Rabbit. do you think I should keep that uh, one for, for RJ I wonder if he's got it uh, uh, I might keep that one you know mm -hmm. I don't know whether he's got a, a diversity in that poor condition because it's pretty pretty grim that for such a Relatively new coin. I'll keep that out for our, I'll keep that out for RJ coins. Okay. Okay. I'll put it there so I don't uh, I don't forget. So RJ coins. He has a filthy rich collection. I'm going to put the ones that aren't complete there, lady. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Oh, I want that one. Number twenty eighteen. In. Yeah. So RJ coins. He has his own coin channel. He. Ooh. Look at that with fifty pence on. Mm -hmm. This could be the ultimate blocker, couldn't it? 
It's mm. not. It's a it's a really nice condition. It's a, it's a really nice condition. Commonwealth Games, like I'll be looking to see if we swap that out in the book. I'll put that there as a possible swap. Uh, yeah. the Just for a second. Oh, he's the 18 I was on about. Ah, it's another Paddington. Paddington at the palace. Waving his flag. Yeah, just for a second there, I thought I'd found you another Kew Gardens, Ooh. Lady M. Sick of finding them for you. Yeah. I wouldn't want to find it in this episode because that would be that would be the ultimate kick in the go wouldn't it? Wouldn't it just? Oh, look at that shiny. Oh, there's a 2011. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, uh, look at that. Look at that. I'm going to check that. that that's, a, that's a swap over as well. That is super shiny, that. that 2011, please don't be... One that I need. Please don't be one that Lady M needs. Well. <laughs> Very quiet today, though. Mm, just... Quieter than normal. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a zoom in. What do you think it is? Don't know. Table nice. tennis. Whiff I waff. Ganip ganop. Yeah. Is it ganip ganop? You call it. Yeah. Huh? Well, that's what our mum used to call it. They used to have a table tennis table in that. Um, in the cellar. I wonder what Ganip Ganop means. I don't know. I oh, think it's the sound it makes. You don't need it. You've got one. You've got one. I wonder whether I need it or not. I haven't got my book handy. I filmed this on a different day because Lady Anne was nasty to me in the last uh, episode we filmed. So pathetic. we're having to uh, <laughs> just call me pathetic there. Yeah. So we had to, uh, we had to abandon it. We didn't. You abandoned it. Oh, oh do Did you have to bring Diversity? it up? No, I didn't. Didn't he, didn't he want to mention it? You know, I, think that's why, I think that's why Lady M's so quiet now. She's mm. still uh, still fuming with us. Probably going to shout at me again. There's another Lovely. There's another commemorative Christopher I inside. Oh, yeah, since she's brought it up. Oh, looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah. Poignant for yeah. today. Ah, yes. Film Indeed. Indeed. Anyway, we won't mention that because Lady M's clearly still smarting about it. That's why she's been all quiet now. Obviously. Why she's not, uh, why she doesn't want to talk about it. You've got a cob on or what? Just tell us if you've got a cob on. No. You haven't? No. Right. Well, why, why don't you talk a bit more then? I haven't got anything to say. Oh, like that, is it? There's nothing to talk about, is there? There's nothing, there's nothing worth mentioning out of the coins, that's for sure. That's a 2008 Britannia. Quite nice condition. Don't keep them as a rule, but I think I will keep that one. Right, okay. At least said then. We'll, we'll leave that there. That one's been tipexed, I think. People still use tipex. I do. I don't know. Very occasionally. Luckily, I don't make mistakes, so me being the perfect kind of guy that I am. Mm. Don't make it, don't make any. I'm gonna have to have a look to see if I needed that table tennis. Although if I did, it's not the end of the world because you'd have got one in the last one anyway. Sherlock yeah. Holmes. So it'd be the perfect scenario is I don't need it. Looks like we're just gonna sit in silence, aren't it? We're not, because you're waffling on. How dare you. How very dare you. Is this another diversity? Diversity as well. Again, this one. Okay. Oh, it's gone cold today again. Certainly has. 
Certainly a frosty kind of atmosphere. A bit of a diversity. Mm -hmm. You can cut the atmosphere with a knife now, Lady M. What are you talking about, crazy man? <laughs> you basically giving me daggers. I'm not even looking at you. Is it a uh, public library? Why, why not? I'm concentrating on the coins. Where are you from? Nasty battle of Hastings. Oh, yeah. Might just, while well, we're on a little bit of a roll with RJ, I might just ask him if he wants that as well. Did I mention RJ coins? Go and see him. Go and find him. There's squirrel looking. It's quite nice condition, that. Oh, yeah. Mmm, keeper. Definitely a keeper. Yeah. Is a bit of rabbit? Another one? No bunnies. That's not a bad thing, is it? No, yeah, no Benji, no Benji bunnies. And we're on our uh, final bag each as well. Mm. Probably can't come soon enough. This the end, end of this can't come soon enough. Why? Just with the the uncomfortable atmosphere. <laughs> the only uncomfortableness is from you. There's another uh, hair Well, I'm making you uncomfortable. You're making everybody else uncomfortable. The other one is not talking. Um, and that's nothing new. I get a word in edgeways from you. I don't know what you mean. Uh, everybody else probably does. <laughs> shocking. <laughs> that is absolutely shocking. Right, that's it. Right. No bunnies to report. A bonus. Um... I'm going to give an honourable mention to that really nice condition 70th and this squirrel nutkin. And I think that that's the plum for me. Have you got any have you got a have you got a plum find? Yeah, no, I think it's that. Wonder whether I do need it. I'm keep Lady in my work as well. I'm boring her. I've offended her, upset her and bored her as all at the same time. That's pretty impressive that, isn't it? It is. Oh well, should we just go then? Okay. Alright then, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.